to my channel or welcome back to my channel so today I have a quick review and a hair tutorial on this look from curly me so curly me sent me this unit to review for you guys and I'm just gonna show you how I styled it what I like about it what gave me a little bit of a hard time and everything in between so this unit is their kinky curly unit in 26 inches and it does have transparent lace I will put all the information all the specifics about this unit down below but I can tell you guys I love the texture of the hair I have really been loving anything that's really not silky straight kind of hair lately I don't know if you guys have been noticing it's just really pretty and I love big hair I miss doing like big units like big full units curly units like this so I'm just gonna show you guys how I styled it all the products that I use will be down below in the description box as well as all the details for this unit don't go away don't do anything don't click off I'll be right back all right you guys so let's get right into this so this is how the wig looks this is the curl pattern it is kinky curly 26 inches it does come with your standard combs and transparent lace and it's supposed to be pre-plucked as well and I did bleach the knots which didn't really go over that well so um, you may have to bleach the knots on this unit twice they didn't bleach that great for me so here just doing my standard install I do this every single install you guys just using my hard head spray by TG and just you know applying it melting the lace whatever you want to call it using my Dyson blow dryer now there are two different ways that I'm doing it this go around um, that first little section that first middle section I went on ahead and cut the lace off and in this section you still see I have some of the lace on I haven't worn a wig y'all in like weeks now and I felt like a beginner I really did not know what to do this go around so I was just you know just doing my best So you guys, with laying these edges this go around, I wanted to have them a little bit more on the exaggerated side. Honestly, I hate when people tell me like my edges look, oh, it looks so wiggy. You can tell it's, it's uh, you're wearing a wig and blah, 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 blah. I mean, like sometimes I don't care. Like, yes, the objective when wearing a wig is to make it look as natural as possible. But sometimes y'all, that's how you just discover new styles styles new you know just new things how to lay your edges differently how to do your hair differently and when it comes to hair it's it's just a creative um, outlet for me so doing my edges and just doing them differently and just you know maybe I'm exaggerating sometimes maybe another unit I'm not it's just all of just I don't know it's just a creative outlet for me so I hope you guys understand that um, and with this particular unit I was having a little bit of a hard time with um, I'm getting them to lay I actually don't blame the hair the unit at all it's just more user error just just me you know just some days you're on it and some days you're not y'all so um anyways I'm doing a little bit like more than usual I'm gonna end up putting some baby hairs like in the middle so it's like a crap load of edges like right here you guys and it looks ridiculous like it just looks ridiculous at this point but bear with me I'm gonna show you guys what I do to fix it when I can't really get um the style going like how I want my edges to lay or anything at this point, I'm just making sure they're all coming forward and I'm gonna lay them down like that and then I will fix them once they dry and I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. So from here, just gonna add a little bit more um, setting lotion and then lay my edges down. And don't forget everything that I'm using is in the description box. So all the products that I'm using and details about this unit is in a description box as well. So make sure you check that out. So from here on out, super easy. I'm just gonna take four sections on this unit, spray a little bit with water, finger detangle, and then use my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush to get through these curls. Now I did experience a little bit more like tangles than I think I should have, 
but then again my wig did get knocked on the floor in Isaiah's bathroom when it was hanging up to dry and then from there y'all I think he, I feel like he kicked it all over the place I don't know what that child did but anyway so I'm not gonna blame the unit at this point I'm gonna say it was a little bit of my fault as well that and it is a tighter curl so just be aware of that you know just making sure whenever you are finished wearing it make sure you store it properly to reduce those tangles and shedding and all that good stuff I wasn't the biggest fan of the lot of body setting lotion whatever I'm using on this hair I feel like it would have done better maybe with a little bit of a cream based product which I'm not really sure what that is because I typically don't use you know anything other than my mousse in my hair like my setting lotion in my hair but I'm gonna have to find a good curly product for curly hair like this if you have anything that you would recommend please please let me know in the comments below so I can pick that up I really haven't found anything that I love for curly hair I've tried like Cantu refreshing spray I've kind of tried those sprays and things like that and wasn't the biggest fan so let me know down below and here you guys I am taking my design essentials and I'm just putting that right at the top because I felt like the design essentials had a stronger hold than a lot of body does and I needed the top of my head to be as flat as possible so that's what I'm doing here and this is how it's looking when it's all said and done everything is as flat as I could possibly make it so um, from here you guys I'm just gonna define that part a little bit add some concealer and then I went back over it with a little bit of my powder and then I'm going to show you it's a whole bunch of and thens and then I'm going to show you what I did to my baby here um, I'm just going to take my what do you call it the comb side of my edge brush and I'm just going to start lifting my hair I actually do this with every wig I don't like my hair like my baby hair to so just be completely stuck on my forehead but this go around I'm going to lift a little bit more and then spray some um, hairspray on the comb side and on the brush side and I'm just gonna start randomly pulling some hair back with this unit I felt like my edges could have been much better had the unit been plucked and had I also used a razor to cut my um, baby hair and not using scissors because you scissors are so blunt all right you guys so all in all I like this unit of course you can tell you can pretty much tell when I really like something because I smile a lot this is definitely to me the definition of a kinky curly unit I've only worked with curly me twice this is my second time working with them I worked with them once last year and I absolutely love that unit I will put that um, in the cards maybe right here so that you can go back and reference that unit that I love and I wore the heck out of it I just wore it non-stop I have a feeling I'm going to wear this unit the same as soon as I can find a different curling product because I don't think mousse like my regular setting lotion mousse whatever works for this hair the hair did get much bigger as it settled as it dried so keep that in mind as well and I think it's gonna be perfect for vacation summertime maybe not like wearing every single day especially if you're in the south um, and especially if you're in a humid warm climate this might be a little bit too much this hair may get really big on you depending on what product you put in it but it's also also going to be really easy to style um, you don't really have to put that much work into it a quick tip with getting the most out of your units you guys try your best not to put so much heat on them especially when it's a unit like this you don't want to risk damaging the curls um, if you want a straight unit then I would like buy a straight unit but when it comes to a kinky curly unit like this I wouldn't straighten it at all I think it's going to end up ruining the hair down the line um, and also whenever you are washing for something like this for a unit like this I would say use more conditioner than shampoo make sure you deep condition this hair use some really good conditioner as well and that is really gonna increase the longevity of your unit I do say for sure this unit does need to be plucked I should have plucked it but again I wanted to see how it looked without it because it does claim that it's pre plucked however I'm not a fan of what they call pre plucked at all that is pretty much it you guys if you have any questions or comments Comments, please put them down below don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>